These are the different ways on how we can add images on Google Slides. First is uploading images that are stored from our computer. To do that, we go to the Insert tab, select Image, and choose Upload from Computer. Suppose this image on my desktop is the one that I would like to upload. I will select it and press the Open button. I can change its border color to blue, its border weight to 3 pixels, and its border dash to a broken line. The second way is to use Google Search Engine. I will go to the Insert tab, select Image, and choose Search the Web. Google Images Search Engine sidebar will appear. Here, I can find free-to-use images filtered by Google. For example, I will enter the Teacher keyword. I will select this image and press the Insert button. I can use the little square or handle on its corner to retain the image proportionate. I will not use the little squares in the middle of each side as it might distort the image. I can also apply animation to this image. I just simply press the animate button at the top. On the motion sidebar, I can choose what object animation I want. For example, I want fly in from left. Then the trigger event is on click. I will add another animation. I will choose fly out to right. Then the trigger event is after the previews. This means right after the first animation, the second one will be executed automatically. I can also change its pace by moving the slider to slow or fast. I will press the play button to preview. I will click any white space on the screen to initiate the animation. Third way is to upload an image from my Google Drive. I will click the Insert tab, Choose Image, and Select Drive option. Google Drive sidebar will appear. Let's say this recently added picture from my drive is the one that I would like to upload. I will select it and press the Insert button. I will resize it by using the corner little square. I can adjust its color by going to Format Options. I will expand the Adjustments group. Here, I can set its transparency, brightness, and contrast according to my taste. Reset button is available to bring it back to its original color. The fourth way is to use the images that I uploaded to my Google Photos application. I will click the Insert tab, choose Image, and select Photos option. On the Google Photos sidebar, I will choose this image and click the Insert button. I will resize it using the corner handle to retain its height and width proportionate. Let's say I would like to crop the bottom of the image. To do that, I can either click the Crop Image button in the toolbar, or I can double-click the image to show the crop handles of the image. The crop handles appear on the same location of little squares for resizing the image. So make sure that you are really using the crop handles. Let's say I will reduce this bottom part by moving the middle crop handle upward. To commit the change, I will just press any space on the slide. Beside the crop symbol is a drop-down arrow. It is called Mask Image Tool. This means we can put the image inside shapes, arrows, callouts, or equations. For example, I will choose the right arrow. Notice that the image is now within the arrow shape. I can use the yellow handle to make some adjustments. I can also set the border color, border weight, and border dash. The fifth way is to insert an image using an image link. For example, I will get the link from gfee.com. On this website, I will search the keyword Philippines. I like this Philippine flag GIF. I will copy its link by pressing the chain icon. I will go back to the slides page, then click the insert tab, choose image, and select by URL. This pop-up will appear. I will simply paste the link and click the insert button. As we can see, the GIF is now on the slide. On top, we can see the replace image in the toolbar. We can use it to replace the current image using other methods. The sixth way is to use my device's camera to add an image. I will go to the Insert tab, choose Image, and select the Camera option. This pop-up will appear. It will allow me to capture image using my built-in front camera. The captured images will appear on its side. I can select one and press the Insert button. 
I can also set its border color, weight, and dash. If I don't like it, the reset image button can also be used to bring it back to the original state. I can use the format options to add drop shadow. I can adjust its transparency, angle, distance, and blur radius. I can even change the color of the shadow. Aside from changing the image format, I can also use it as a link that will go to another page. To do that, I will select the image and press the insert link button in the toolbar. I will enter here the link, for example, my Twitter profile link. Then I will press the apply button. To test, I can press the image and click the link. As we can see, it went to my Twitter page. I will press the present button to recap all the things that I did on this demo. I uploaded an image from my computer and changed its border color, weight, and dash. I searched for the keyword teacher from Google search engine. Also, I added animations to it. I inserted an image that I got from my Google Drive. I adjusted its color too. I got an image from Google Photos. I cropped the image and used the mask image feature. I inserted an image using its link. In this example, I copied the link from gfi.com and inserted the image by URL. Lastly, I used my laptop built-in camera to insert an image onto the slide. I also inserted a link to the image so that when it is clicked, it will go to another page. I hope this video helped you in adding images into your Google Slides file.